poisons. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. I'll carve you up, you bunghole. Opponent. I have feelings. That's it. You've awakened the ruthless KG. You've asked for it. Listen, I don't take crap. Never. That's it. That's it. I'll crack your skull so loud whoa, get whoa! Of the docks. Nah, that's it. We're going ruthless. Chat, let's get together. <laughs> May die, we don't know, but... What's that up your sleeve? Right, this is a freaking huge, huge swing that I've been waiting for. That is disgusting, man. <laughs> that is so crazy. And we probably just get rid of Sea Jackal. That is filthy. Yeah, likewise, man. Thanks a lot for your time. All the best to you. I'm probably throwing down our Regis now. Oh! <laughs> Clutch! <laughs> We're gonna play our full hand out to make it out of this. Clutch! Magic moments! <laughs> What's up, Legends? Welcome back to another deck guide. Before we get into today's list, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please take the time to do so now. My next objective is to reach 10,000 subscribers, and I'd really appreciate your support in achieving that goal. For today, I've put together a Vampire's Monsters list for everyone. We are utilizing Regis Hire Vampire in this list. Pretty interesting and unique card. Does act as a tall punish option for us. So we're going to get into that very soon, but first we're going to discuss the leader ability now. Blood Scent is what we're utilizing. Give an enemy unit bleeding for three turns, three charges. Once all charges are used up, we spawn that token unit that you see down there, which is also a vampire unit. What I'd say with our Blood Scent leader ability is that we save it for round two when we are literally bleeding the opponent with bleeding. So we've got all our effective engines at that time, such as Oriana, Fledders, and then that's when our Blood Scent leader will play for the most value and put a lot of pressure on the opponent because the way i see this deck how it's built it can play across round one comfortably round two and a short round three situation because we do have regis reborn for a big um final sl say point slam so i really believe we play this deck best bleeding the opponent into round two crystal skull is the stratagem boost an allied unit by four giving it veil we're really just utilizing crystal skull just to give Nekarat protection. Of course, there are some other units there which you may want to give it to, such as Fletter or the Alp, as it's got an order ability. Um, but best thing is play Nekarat first, give it stratagem, prioritize placing bleeding on your opponent's side of the board so that Regis Reborn can play for the max value possible by the end of a match. So what I'm going to do is run you through this list bottom up, explain how best to play each card, when to play it during a match. Then we're going to discuss how to execute the strategy for this list. So to begin with, we have one Drowner in this deck. Thrive unit. As you play units with a higher power than this onto the board, it's going to be boosting itself um, by one. And its deep flow ability is move an enemy unit to the other row, damage it by two. So Drowner is a tech card in this deck. You're going to save it when your opponent... Um, has an important row locked unit. That's when Drowner is effective to use. So I just added this into our deck to give our deck flexibility um, in what our deck can do. Um, another thing to bear in mind is that if your opponent plays Defender, Drowner is a good way to get Defender out of the way and access something behind Defender. Um, before we go into these other bronzes, I wanted to make this deck very simple and straightforward to play. 
So basically look at like this. You're free to play one of each bronze copy per round. Um, play one of each round one and the others out round two. Keep that in mind. Um, we got Bruxa, also a Thrive unit. Deploy, give an enemy unit bleeding for two turns. So Bruxa, because it's a Thrive unit, we're going to follow the Thrive curve. You may want to play Nekarat first, um, your first move of the match, then follow up with Bruxa. Because after that, we're going to play units with a higher power than Brox, all right? We've got Alp coming up, ne um, not Necrat. We'll have Fledders. We'll have Imlareth. So keep in mind, Brox is going to be an early play in a round when you commit her. Hello is a good way to purify a unit of ours if it becomes disabled through a lock. That's why it's in here. Of course, it can remove any other status. If your opponent has a defender unit, unit it's another great way to get through to the opponent's row without wasting your tall punish or control on the opponent's defender. So with Pella, you keep it on you as you believe you'll need it per match. If you see a Northguard deck with Imprisonment Leader ability, it's a good idea to keep Pella, right? Double Feast the Blood, Purify and damage an enemy unit by three. If you control a Vampire, also give it Bleeding for three turns. So an important thing to take note of with Feast of Blood is that it purifies as well, um, but this purifies the opponent's units. So that's why we still have Defender in, um, we still have Pella in here to self-purify, okay? Because we need some way to unlock our own units still. So we actually have a fair few ways to deal with the opponent's defenders and statuses on their units. Um, purify and damage an enemy by three. If you control a vampire, also give it bleeding for three turns. So you can utilize this um, perhaps when you have Fledder down, and then you want to use this next turn, Fledder will get a 3-point boost. Double Undying Thirst. This card works very good with Fledder. Given enemy unit bleeding for 6 turns, Fledder will boost himself by 6 instantaneously. So this bronze uh, for provision cost gets mad value. Um, definitely look to save this in combination with the Fledder. Once you have Fledder down on the board, then you commit Undying Thirst can be awkward in shorter round situations. Necrat, as, as I said, play Necrat first thing, round one. First thing into any round, really, because you want to set, set up that bleeding engine value for Regis Reborn, especially. Zeal order ability, melee row locked. You're giving an enemy unit bleeding for two turns. Cooldown two, whenever you play a vampire card, reduce the unit's cooldown as well. Save one round one and the other round two. Two Alps, deploy, give an enemy unit, bleeding three, and then you have an order on the next turn that you can play, give an enemy unit, bleeding three again. Pretty good value at five provision cost, ensures bleeding across the board to work with Fledders, um, to work with Oriana, and giving Regis Reborn that good boosting value as well. So you could kind of float the order ability, and then like if you'd like, you could play a Fledder subsequently, and then use the order to give a Fledder a boost. So there's a few different ways we can play her out. With the Griffins, we're not looking to play the Griffins for deploy. We are discarding one of the Griffins through Imlareth. So what we want to do round one to give us points to help get round control, you play Imlareth down on the melee row. Um, and you only want to do this if you have Griffin in your hand, by the way. So only commit Imlareth if you've got Griffin. Play Imlareth melee row. You're going to discard the Griffin. Um, Imlareth will become a 12th point unit. That Griffin's down the graveyard. And then later on, that sets up Mamuna in this deck to thin out the other Griffin, which we always want to keep in our deck. So one Griffin, you're always keeping in deck. One always in hand for Imlareth to discard. Uh, we also have two Fledders. When bleeding is applied to an enemy unit, boost self by the amount applied. Counter one. So you can only do this once per turn. Refresh the counter at the beginning of your turn. Um, Flitters, you want to play... You can use one round one to help get you round control. And then the other round two, I'd suggest, is a good time to play it. And synergize it with leader in round two, Undying Thirst, and the other bleeding um, options we have. Covered Imlareth, Oriana. Oriana is a ranged row lock card. Give an enemy unit bleeding with a duration equal to the amount of allied vampires. So you might want to consider offloading 
um, your leader ability completely when you're committing Oriana in round two best um, to put some really sig real significant pressure on the opponent. So th then there's going to be a lot of bleeding on the opponent's side of the board. They're getting a lot of damage and Oriana is going to be boosting as much as possible because every allied turn on turn end boosts off by the number of bleeding enemy units. So really you want to keep leader ability round two for Fletters and Oriana, I suggest. Um, a thing to note about this deck is we have two important units, but they're row locked on different rows. So we have Regis, High Vampire, which is melee, and then we have Oriana, which is ranged. So really, um, with Cave Troll, obviously we, we cannot defend both because of that, but I really have Cave Troll in this deck to defend Regis, High Vampire, because he's very sensitive at just four power. He has a important order ability that you have to wait on. Um, whereas Oriana can boost and can have a taller power and maybe evade instant removal from some lower damage cards. So save Cave Troll just to be played with Regis High Vampire. And um, like obviously into round two, if you're bleeding the opponent, you might want to set up Cave Troll right away, play Fledders behind Cave Troll, and then Regis High Vampire late towards the end of your round two bleed. Or, you know, you could just, just save Cave Troll to be played right before you play Regis any other time during the match. But the time Cave Troll is really going to come out is when you're committing Regis High Vampire, and it's either going to be round two or three. Bear in mind, it's a melee row locked ability, so you're draining an enemy by the amount of boost it has. Because it's boost, sometimes Regis High Vampire might not play so good for us, and then sometimes he might play crazy good for us. So... It's a kind of a match-dependent um, success rate we're going to have with Regis here. Nugglefire just gives us consistency. We get to look at two random gold cards from our deck, play one, place the other on top. I pretty much suggest we commit Nugglefire for sure, round two, just to get a good gold card out of the deck. Um, and also to set up a good gold for round three as well. Crimson Curse. This does make sense in our deck because... It's giving us vampire units, which could, which could synergize with Oriana. Um, we're also applying bleeding, which works pretty good with Regis Reborn, uh, Fledders, and also Oriana. And it just it's just a nice little point swing for us. Round one to help us get round control. Sp spawn Blood Moon on an enemy row for five turns, then spawn two Ekimaras in the opposite row. So with Crimson Curse, you want to kind of wait till your opponent has a good amount of points on a certain row, maybe two or three units, and then you want to play it um, so they don't evade that bleeding value that we're going to be generating. Heat Wave is just to give our deck some control. Of course, you can get rid of a unit with a tall power, or you can get rid of a scenario if you like. So with Mamuna, Imlareth, Griffin, Mamuna, they have a synergy together. Zeal order ability, banish your bronze unit from your graveyard, boost off by its power, summon a copy of it from your deck to this row. Be careful that on Sabbath we actually play the copy. I think we, what we want to do with Mamuna is, um, if possible, first thing, round two, open up with Mamuna just to get a very um, high tempo play, put us way ahead of the opponent, and we're thinning out our deck. Because what we're going to be doing with Mamuna is banishing the Griffin in our graveyard and drawing the other Griffin from our deck to her row. So it's, she gives us deck consistency and a big point swing. And then from there, we're in a comfortable position to bleed the opponent around too, right? So um, you want to do this first also to avoid playing the Griffin because we're likely to generate a good amount of points with our engines. So I think at best, Mamuna round two is great if you can open up first round round two. And then to finish, we have Regis Reborn. Um, Regis Reborn is really a card you play last at the end of a match. Deploy, drain an enemy unit by three. At the end of your turn while in a hand or deck, if there is an enemy unit with bleeding, increase own base power by one. So the idea with Regis Reborn is we're always prioritizing um, bleeding status on our opponent's side of the field as much as possible every opportunity we can get from the very beginning of the match. So now that we've covered the list, I'm going to explain how to execute the strategy for this deck. So round one, what I'd suggest we do is Necrat Crystal Skull. 
from there we commit one bronze copy um one of each bronze copy that we have in this deck that's fine so after necrat you could play uh maybe a flitter you could play bruxa you could play alp um undying thirst feast you could play Imlareth, discarding a griffin it's also fine to go ahead and play crimson curse should be enough points to get you around control with this deck uh we've got some very strong engines and we have a bit of a point slammy kind of play in how we're going about it so i suggest round two you definitely bleed with mamuna get that deck consistency right and then you can go ahead and start to utilize flitter oriana um if you believe your opponent's going to play a unit that you could drain from you could even utilize cave troll and regis high vampire in round two as well and then you can just play your bronzes out um for a short round three obviously bear in mind uh it's going to depend on what you've utilized in round two but definitely save regis reborn as a final say at the end of the match you got tall punish with heat wave to consider and like i said whatever else you didn't play out so i hope you enjoy the following matches and thank you for your support Maybe Pella for poison? Thanks for the prime sub. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. It means a lot, my friends. Necrat is opening play. Tax collector, right. Deals can be filed within seven years. Within seven years, you shall receive profit. So the way I play it is I like to kind of save leader for round two, not use it with fled around one. I usually see it played. Just be like more conservative. Yeah, imagine Regis on Soul. That would be freaking crazy. Is that legal? <laughs> uh, that might be an illegal move. I don't know, man. Will I get reported for something like that? <laughs> um, maybe Regis will work in this match, eh? Can we get him to work? I just want to get a mad magic moment where you just see him freaking win the whole match he just goes mm, drains everything what do you say? Dave Knight of the butcher's yard? that's some pretty crazy tempo uh what does boat need horde seven is it i mean uh, should i even pass now maybe we play one more card I guess that's good. I think I'm passing next now. That works against Horde if they're boosting. But they're getting coins. So, hold on a second. Boost by three? Yeah. Right there, right there. What's going on, Shade? How are you, my friend? Yes, spend your coins. Get rid of it so you're not a threat next turn. Go all the way. So how many coins do they have next turn as a five coins if it's from nine? Does it go down to 5 or 4 if it's full pouch? That's something to have a think about. Goes to 4? Okay. Interesting. Can we find an Imlareth, please? Is there a possibility to do that? Oh my goodness.
porridge of choice um or oh, oatmeal yeah I, I used to eat oatmeal too um but these days i just stick to like veggies and meats and stuff like that coffee in the morning um i'm lactose intolerant so like i don't really do milk so i kind of moved away from it but yeah i used to like have all kinds of cereals uh, we need to play something. I don't really have good cards here. Damage by two goes to eight. Me eight damage there. A long round is good for us. Regis Vampire, man. I think he could go crazy in this match. We just need our thinning. Like, I gotta find Imlareth. Imlareth, I believe in you. I absolutely believe that on this next click, I pull Nugglefar. Or I get Imlareth. Mm. Magic moment. Magic moments, where are you? And Fletter's in there too. They wouldn't have much control, would they? Maybe just poisons? You gonna be much longer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. I'll carve you blood, whoa. You Opponent. I have feelings. That's it. You've awakened the ruthless KG. You've asked for it. Listen, I don't take crap. Never. That's it. That's it. I'll crack your skull so loud whoa, I'll whoa! The nah, that's it. We're going ruthless. Chat, let's get together. <laughs> I was playing with you guys, man. I, I don't take any notice of stuff like that. This will be our Regis target, probably. This dies. We're happy about it. Very, very good. But I gotta give bleeding to things. Here's the thing. Right? Not sure. Kind of doing it like this then for now. Anyway, we've got a lot of cards left. That's it, time to flex on them. <laughs> yeah, it's funny to joke around with it. You guys know me, I'm, I'm never serious like that. I really don't take, uh, take it so serious, man. I'm just gonna have fun. <laughs> like, I have fun with it, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, probably going... I'll just save Cave Troll with Regis last. I just don't really want to give bleeding to these units because I'm looking to target them. Uh, I'm looking to target them for the boost. I'll crack your skull so loud they'll hear it down at the docks. Yeah, that's it. Tax collector. So, okay, right, right. Yo. 
Mamuna gets us a flitter. Right? Yeah. I'll carve you bloody you bunghole. Do I need to use my leader now? Why not? Whatever it is, we're saving Regis behind Cave Troll. So we'll just wait on it. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, man. Uh, I, I don't really want to drop Oriana just yet. Maybe we should, because we're kind of getting close. Should I wait one more turn? But this gives Oriana more bleeding too. I think I might, might wait just once more. What's up, Xeros? I'll just wait a bit. Thank you for the follow. I just want to see some... Okay, so we're doing something. What does this need? Port 7? I'll crack your skull so loud I'll hear it down in the docks. Thank you, I'd love to see that happen. <laughs> oh my god, I love it, man. I have so much fun when this happens. <laughs> I swear. You know what's interesting? When this happens, like, you can play even slower and they become even more irritated. That that's another thing to consider. Like, it's not, it's not good for them, I'm telling you. It's hilarious. You know what's even worse? Imagine if they lose this match. And they got that kind of behavior. This is really not a good look. But anyway. That, that's for them to figure out. Regis is absolutely gonna slap, man. Um... I think it's fine to to just rest it we have cave troll here and let's maximize our value they may forfeit now after seeing this right So, when does this boost? Whenever your opponent plays a card, right. I could just kill that off. I know you're in trouble. I can help. I'll crack your skull so loud I'll hear it down in the dark. Regis is going to play fantastic. We've got two tall punish options. It's game over anyway. Way too many points ahead. Salutations from Azar Jarvet. May die, we don't know, but. Hey, what's that up your sleeve? Right, this is a freaking huge, huge swing that I've been waiting for. That is disgusting, man. <laughs> it's so crazy. And we probably just get rid of Sea Jackal. That is filthy. I'll admit it. You got bloody big stones. Thanks. Thank you. May die. 
Yeah, I expected that. That's the moment I was waiting for. <laughs> it was, yeah. Um, get rid of one of these. Yeah, that's why I do two wizard. Pretty much. It's like when you reset at the beginning of the season, you're like all about business, you know, like focusing, making it to pro, getting a lot of wins. Then after that, you just kick back, eh? Let's have fun. Is it a good idea to float that? Maybe I hit this. No, we don't want to hit that first. Okay, we'll do this. Yeah, true fool. A lot of people are in your shoes, man. You know, a lot of my friends, they stopped playing Gwent. Can you believe it? Because they're in free. They've taken a break. I haven't heard from them. Can play Traveling Priestess. Respect, respect. I've never played Traveling Priestess either. A fine thing. Worst patch. You guys think it's the worst one, huh? Really, Sully? Took a break after two years. The first. So, this is the first time something's caused you to like reevaluate your participation in the game, really. Right, that's a big thing to say, man. What if we get double flitter? We have um, moon effect. No! Don't damage. No, no. Um, this is good still. First V patch? Yeah, I remember that, man. That's when they changed um, Deathwish leader. Remember? He used to be three charges, bro. It was sick back then. I loved... Um, you know how competitive Deathwish was for me back in the day? Before V came out, man? Oh my god. Every deck I was getting to pro rank with back then was like a Deathwish deck. Like, every time. Got by six. Is it worth for me to push here? Major break after two years. Managed to be entertained by one game for so long. Man, I do it because I love it. I'm passionate about it. And um, my enjoyment comes from like mixing with you on chat. All of you good people. Getting to know you all. And it's kind of like, for me, I'm in a different position. You know, like I can play the game and I got people to kick back with. But like I could imagine for some of you, if it's not like that, like you're just playing the game alone, same thing. Like it's probably different, you know, so... But th that's how I stay motivated, like hanging out with you all, having a good time, playing the game, getting your feedback on my decks. It keeps me interested still. Um, it's probably a pass, is it? I'd really like to play on, but um, I'm kind of screwing up Imlareth later, I feel. Thanks, Wizard. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, that's it, house. That's it, that's it. Thanks, Barry. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. That's sick. <laughs> Thanks, Otter. Man, that's what I'm all about, baby. 
I'm all about good vibes. I'm about uniting the Gwent community. Preaching mental health awareness is very important. I'm telling you, a lot of people suffer in silence. It doesn't have to be that way. Let's make a change together. That's that's what I'm about, man. I need to keep something to toss in case they pass. Master of Puppets. Oh my goodness. We have such a bad hand here. <laughs> I'm serious. So what happens? I play Bruxa. They steal. I don't know. Give me a bleeding unit. <laughs> Don't be jealous, man. We, we're all in it together. It's all good. Struggling? Right. Thanks, Sully. Thank you. Might want to heat wave the Renfrey. That's the biggest threat. The purifying defender. My goodness, it's such a filthy uh, leader. <laughs> Can I even do anything about that, man? I don't know, really. Maybe I'm going to stall and not give them good targets for leader so they don't play it this round. Rage. <laughs> uh... One leader charge? Could be. Maybe just one. Yeah, what do they got afterwards? Oh, set to 12. Wow. This just dies to Lido right away. Um, this is a really hard call because I just feel like, I don't know, let's just do this. Maybe even that wasn't good. If they use Lido, I'm just trying to be slow about it. They're just going to use leader now, pretty much. Yeah. 12. Could even be Griffin. Nah, it should be this. They probably just go all in because we heat wave in free. I don't know, Apollo. Look at what I got left to play. Joachim? That's a bit different. They don't use? Makes our situation better. I'm surprised, man. Yeah. But look at the the other ability they got set to 12. Yeah, it's crazy. Watch. Oh! If only that was Melly. Oh my god. Can you imagine if that was Melly? That would have been a freaking high roll and a half. Lemonade. <laughs> um, we just play this out, right? Because they're bleeding. We're boosting. A 
it's enough, isn't it? I'm very surprised that this round went. I wasn't expecting this. That's very surprising, friends. Honestly. How the hell did we do that? How's that possible? We just won't give him any good targets, right? Uh... Yeah, like, Nugglefar gets me Mamuna, right? Probably it's a good hand. I think I just keep it exactly like this. Stay positive. You suffer like <laughs> never before. Hard out, breach it. This is really good though because it's failed. We're just gonna keep playing crappy stuff. That's fine. What was it again? Destroy with 10. Already used it. Calvate. <laughs> Onward, sons of Ninja. Oh my goodness. Calvate with Renfrey. Okay. I guess they could kind of make it work. Right? This is a really big win, man. I'm telling you, to do this against Renfri? It's great, man. Wow, we even got them to forfeit before we played out. Damn. Chewbacca. <laughs> what a legend. Thanks, thanks. Hey man, I'm appointing you all as mods. I trust all you guys. Just, you you know the commands? Exclamation mark YouTube, Discord, just hit them man. Give people shout outs. <laughs> do what you gotta do man. Just do it. It's all good. We're so susceptible to the bleed. Yeah, seems like it, dude. If you got Mamuna, though, it's good tempo. <laughs> I don't have that command yet. Win. <laughs> I don't have those ones. <laughs> We're working on them. Uh, yeah, we do this. So, it's Renfree Vampires. We're in free vampires, right, right. Um, no flitters. No flitters isn't the best. We're having deck. Crimson, no, I, I probably shouldn't get um, like that again. Maybe it's another Alp. Will reign supreme. We're gonna find out, my friends. Garcane. I don't know. I never really came around to that card. I felt it was, it's kind of um, underwhelming at times. What's your guys' opinion on it? Would you utilize it? Alps. Do we prefer Alp over. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Now we pass, because I don't really have cards. Dark 
double. Yeah. Proactive. Cool. Okay. Griffin? What about Griffin? That's good. You can bait out removal. That's that's a good point. To be honest with you. Okay, so it's got some utility like that. That makes sense. Hello? Um, yeah, well, they're doing bleeding. I don't know. Do I really care about it? Griffin to get another card from him. Like, play my Griffin from hand? Then that screws up Mamuna. We're saving it for Mamuna. Yeah, yeah. It's a combination, like, Imlurth discards one, and then that sets up Mamuna, right? But in this case, they have this card, unfortunately. Oh, smokes. Damn, and I got the other Alp in hand. Oh, my goodness. What else we got? Okay, there's a Necker out there. I'm coming for you, mate. They always forfeit? Really? They can put it back? That's that's why I've been playing a lot of Heatwave lately in my decks. Because when you see her, you just Heatwave her. It completely removes her. The only um, downside is that you're just getting like 7 points removed. It's not a lot of points. Yeah, so we got Necrat in Graveyard. Um, setting up Mamuna. And I'm probably just doing this here. Long round? Wow, this will be interesting. Should I just play Regis like second last? Um, without Defender, just like sneaky play. Is that better? Or should I actually just save Cave Troll just for Regis late? I'm still trying to figure out what's best. What do you guys think? What's the best line of play, really? Oh, thank goodness. Alright. Um, it's kind of like 50-50, you know? It's match dependent. Some matches works good. If it makes sense, if you come up against control decks, not really going to play good, right? So it kind of depends. What did we say we're doing? Save Defender for the third. From last. Okay, right, that's what you think. So I'll just I'll just save yeah, I'll just save it late then. Okay, so we'll play everything else out. I'll take you guys' opinion. Into consideration. And what did we have in deck? So it's gonna be for that. Not go far there. Yep. Uh we do have Fledder that we could play out now. Ruxa. <laughs> Random Igni, yeah. Oh yeah, that one. I know what you're talking about. Lock? Okay, well... That saves Oriana.
Got to play Crimson Curse soon. Here she comes. Renfrey is coming. What on earth are we going to do? Maybe this one now? Here? Here? Crimson Curse is on the way. Good. Back row. Okay. Probably um, Oriana now. Thinking. I think it makes sense. We're gonna offload later. We can go here. We can go here. 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 Drop down here. There we go. She can die to Renfrey at 10. Unfortunately. If they um, get that destroyed 10 or less, she can die. Just just out of... Just in range still. Rihanna? Right. Wow. Um, it's probably Cave Troll now. Yep, yep. Okay. It's actually good she's stuck there. Here we go. Dead Luff, really? Let's see. Let's see. Is it gonna happen? Because we have Yeah, that's right. Regis on Melee Row, as um Frog said. Because it's a more sensitive card. It's got an order ability, it's at four points, it can get removed quicker. Oriana, she goes tall. Yo, this is going to be a big Regis. They might try to kill it off. Oh, crap. What are they playing? Oh, come on. Are you serious? Why did they do that? <laughs> Why didn't they move on um, Regis, man? I'm using it right away, I'm not waiting on it. What's more likely to climb? 10 for 10, bleeding? <laughs> yes! Woo! We got it! We defeated Renfri Vampires. We are playing Vampires the right way. All right. Come on. Let's get the win. Thank you for the prime sub. Really appreciate it. Come on. If we get this win, man. Thank you for the follow. Satisfaction guaranteed. I better play Regis ranged. 
Oh, would you look at the points? Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to an amazing position in this match. 48 to 48, one and one card. What's it gonna be? The bleeding's offloaded. He's coming down hot. He's getting rid of the Thrive. Here we go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my god.